So recently I have been reading a lot of books on the topic of feminism. Feminism is something that I've been trying to understand more and more and more because I admit it is a very big subject that entails a lot of negative or positive connotations depending on what your view of it is. And all too often I have people on my channel ask me, Daniel, why aren't you a feminist? You make videos defending men and defending women's rights, so why don't you label yourself a feminist? Because all too often in my videos I say that I'm not a feminist, I am a humanist. And I'm confused, and this is where I need your guys' help on this issue, because feminism is very, very confusing to me. In fact, even reading the books that I've been reading on feminism, I still can't seem to get a clear definition of what feminism is. I watch Lacey Green a lot of the time, and she is a feminist, classifies herself as a feminist. She made a video on feminism just a few weeks ago, which I watched, and I was like, wow, this video was awesome. I agree with it. Like, almost everything in that video I agreed with. Uh, does that make me a feminist, that I agreed with all the stuff that she was talking about? I don't know. All too often, people say that I am a feminist because I defend women's rights a lot of the time here on my YouTube channel. But at the same time, when I speak of feminism, I usually speak negative negatively of it because well, a lot of people don't know this but I address the radical side of feminism overall I don't really see the big issue the big negative thing with feminism rather I don't label myself that because I don't want to deal with the negative connotations of people calling me that because it's like are you a Republican yes you're a Republican well if you're a Republican you're against you know gays you're against abortion you're against all these things oh you're a liberal well you must be against gun control do you see where I'm going? Is like, once you take the label, if I started calling myself a feminist, people are automatically going to associate my beliefs, my perspectives, my opinions based upon that label. And that's something that I don't want in regards to classing myself as a feminist. Uh, people say all the time, I think you're a feminist. Well, I consider myself a humanist because that is the more comfortable position that I hold, that I want equal rights for both men and women. So my question to you guys, ladies and gentlemen, my fellow reptiles, is what is the definition of feminism? Because all too often, I see a semantics game. People tell me that feminism is about having women's rights equal to that of men. Other people have said that feminism is about women only. Other people define feminism is Feminism is about men and women, both bringing them up equally. Other people have defined feminism as raising women above men, and men as a low, lower pedestal rather than equal. You know, it's it. I've heard so many different definitions of what feminism is, because it varies from person to person, that I'm sitting here and I'm reading books and I'm hearing reading different definitions of what other people classify, and I'm like, what the fuck? How do I determine if I'm actually a feminist or not? And you might think that this is completely and utterly pointless video, but it's a serious question because I'm confused by it. And, you know, you see people like Anita Sarkeesian, who, by the way, I disdain her. I can't stand that woman. And when I see Anita Sarkeesian, she says, I'm a feminist and a gamer. Okay, whatever that means. To me, when I look at Anita Sarkeesian... To me, that's not what feminism is. Or, I, okay, I have a skewed, I don't even know what feminism is, but when I see Anita Sarkeesian, I don't see that woman as a feminist. Because I think about her and I think video games, okay? So the story that I talked about two days, uh, three days ago, you know, the, the, the young girl who was raped, statutory raped, the kid got 45 days in jail. The judge asked the girl, did you cry when you were raped? Well, you didn't cry when you were raped, so therefore it's not, it's not as, you're not as, you're not the victim you claim to be. Oh, you had two relationships before you had consenting, you had two consenting relationships before you got raped. So therefore, your rape isn't what it claims to be. And they, this, and the, even the rapist admitted that he raped the girl and so on and so forth. And the, the, I'm like, I'm sitting there like, Wow. You shame the victim. You say that the victim's, cr uh, the victim's um, innocence being stolen from her, being violated, a, an act of sexual violence against her, isn't to be taken seriously, that she's not a real victim because she didn't cry and she had two consenting relationships prior before that. You know, that's something that I view a feminist as someone who would want to talk about how that's fucked up. Which it is. It's a fucked up scenario. And yet... 
Anita Sarkeesian isn't jumping on things like that. She's I I I rare, all I ever see her talk see her talk about is for the most part video games, and you know she has other videos on other topics, but for the most part. But why doesn't she tackle the big issue? And I'm not saying that video games shouldn't be critically analyzed by her. To me, I view it as if you're really wanting equality and you want women's rights and you want pe women to get the justice they deserve. Why are you focusing on fucking video games of all things and not focusing on issues that are happening that are affecting people on a regular basis, affecting that 14-year-old girl who was raped and told that she's not a victim? The feminism that Anita Sarkeesian has, or at least how I view it, I think is fucked up. Because I know if I classified myself as a feminist, I would be jumping on the opportunity to talk about that story and why it's wrong and bring awareness to the issue rather than talk about Laura Croft's breast size or how Metroid Prime Samus Iran is objectified because she's uh, in a armored bodysuit of some some sort, you know? Really, all of my 800 plus videos, the videos that I have talked about feminism have always been in response to radical feminists, as I mentioned earlier. I think one of my videos I made response to this woman who believed that all men should be castrated or that all men are all men are rapists naturally and want to rape women. It's just like the same in regards to my channel with, with religious people. I respond to a lot of radical fundamentalist Christians or religious folks. But in no way do I associate those radicals with people who classify themselves as a simple Christian. I don't call them radicals. Just like when I hear someone classify themselves as a feminist, I automatically don't disassociate myself with them or say, ew, I don't want to talk to you, because I've seen from the feminists that I've interacted with, one of my friends, Brittany, she considers herself a feminist, and she's awesome, and we really don't disagree on a lot of issues in regards to feminism. So I guess the whole point of this video is that I'm sitting here not knowing if I should continue being a humanist, or I should maybe perhaps go with the negative connotation of labeling myself as a feminist, although I don't really know what feminist really entails because there's so many different definitions and it's defined by so many different people as different things. So my ultimate question of this video on trying to understand feminism here is, what is feminism to you? And I know then the comment section is gonna blow up and there's gonna be a varying different opinions and definitions, or do you have books that you could recommend me that would, that really, bashes down on what the definition of feminism actually is is for. What's the goal of feminism in the long run? Does fem Do all feminists have some sort of agenda? You know, I don't know. I'm ignorant on the subject. I'm admitting this in front of thousands of people. I'm trying to understand this area of subject so I can try to talk about it more often. But right now, I'm struggling with it. So help me. Help me help you in any way possible. So thank you for watching.